Hello and welcome along to Raycom TV. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Roger Network Clone Tool. We're all familiar with the Roger base station um, and our Roger earpiece. So what happens if we've got this scenario? We've got two studios or sound stages and uh, talent is walking between the two studios. Well, it's a bit of a pain if the talent has got to remove the earpiece and uh, pair it with a second base station. You know, you've either got to take the earpiece out or do the talent's head down by the base station to pair it. Not ideal. So what Phonak have done is create a special tool. And what it allows us to do is take the personality from this Roger base station and copy it across to our second Roger base station so they both appear the same. They can have different audio feeds, that's not a problem, they can have the same audio feed. But the idea is that the talent doesn't have to have their earpiece paired back up again when they move between areas. So let's have a look at the installation of the tool. Okay, so uh, let's open ourselves a new browser. I've stored the link to the website because uh, it's not the easiest thing to find. So we'll put that link in the description below. And here we have the download for the Roger Network Clone Tool. Click the download button, there's no form to fill out. Uh, and there we go, we've got reasonably fast broadband here. There it is. So we shall open the file. Click extract all as it's a zip. Wait for that to complete. Excellent. Open a folder, and this is the installer. So double click to install. It is currently only available uh, for Windows. The usual end user license agreement. Yes, we can create a desktop shortcut, would be lovely. And uh, we'll launch the Roger Network Clone Tool. I'm going to close these other windows just to declutter a little bit. Okay, and this is the tool. It's very, very simple indeed. So now we need to just connect Studio A's base station, it's a USB-B type of lead. And Studio A is where the talent's earpiece is already paired. And then we click the read button. That's it, network configuration read successfully. Excellent. So now disconnect. And if you need to uh, walk to the studio, Studio 2, with this tool open, you can do that. It's no problem. Uh, and then connect base station for Studio B in there and simply click right on the tool. That's it, network configuration successfully written. So these two base stations are now essentially the same thing. What you do need to avoid is um, an overlap region. These are not range extenders. You can get the, the Roger repeater for that purpose, but this is for when you've got um, no sort of overlap region because you don't want an earphone uh, fighting between base stations. This is purely for a second studio or sound stage. Uh, but there we go. If you need to reset this so the two are separate again, you just simply push the reset button on the back of the unit and the unit will restart with its original network ID. So that's the Roger clone tool in a nutshell. I hope it's been of some use. Uh, click like, subscribe, and the uh, notification bell for further content. Be proud of your sound.